Hi friends, today we are making chicken, broccoli, rice, and cheese casserole. It's just a bake, super simple, that can be done in the oven. In a perfect world, I would have gotten my rice done in the slow cooker earlier today, and I would have started my chicken so that by this point in the afternoon, the rice and the chicken are done and everything just needs to be mixed together and put into the oven for a bit. However, didn't get that far today, so I'm gonna quickly do my rice and get my chicken in the oven to bake and then mix it all together. Little, little longer than I would like for it to take, but we'll still do it. So while my chicken is in the oven and while I'm waiting for my rice to boil, I'm gonna work on making the homemade cream of chicken soup that I did about a week ago with the chicken pot pie in the slow cooker. Super easy, it's a stick of butter, it's four cups of chicken broth, it's a cup of flour and that's it thrown together in a pot, mix it up, let it become like a gravy consistency, and that's gonna be our cream of chicken soup. So for my chicken, I just went ahead and baked it. Then while it was baking, I went ahead and did my cream of chicken, and my rice is sitting there, and we're gonna chop this up and mix it all together, put it in our casserole dishes, and get it in the oven. Of course, you can do your rice however you do it. You can do your chicken if you've got some in the freezer, or if you wanna use canned chicken, there's a lot of different ways that you can mix it up and make it work. So I have about four pounds of chicken that I've baked and I just cut up. You can easily do this recipe also if you only have two pounds of chicken. If you're stretching your chicken farther, the rice makes it go a nice long way. And oh, Miss Amelia's coming over to help me cook, aren't you, girlfriend? Like yes, that. yes. Okay, let's get the ladder. We'll get the ladder and put the stool back, okay? Okay. Okay, you do that. So what Amelia and I just put in is we put four pounds of chicken breast, we put two 12 ounce packs of steamed broccoli, so that's 24 ounces of broccoli, we put five cups of shredded mild cheddar, and then I put my pot of homemade cream of chicken sauce. And so now Amelia's mixing it. Yeah. Mixy, mixy. Yeah, what's the cheese? Mm -hmm. Where's that other spoon, sweetie? The other spoon we had? The big, oh. Mommy had it right here in front of me. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to stir it. So you get the spoon underneath. Good, you're holding the bowl, good girl. We need to flip it up. Flip it up, good job. And I'm just using my trusty large Mommy Rubbermaid big container spoon. to mix all this in. I made a big spoon. You're gonna spoon. use that big spoon? Okay, good girl. With it. You think it's easier? Hey Amelia, what do you think about cooking? Good. Good. <laughs> yeah, good. When I'm your girl, I'm gonna start cooking with hot chicken. You're gonna cook with hot chicken when you're a grown up? Yeah. That's good. Our chicken now is just warm. Mommy already cooked it. Yeah. Good girl. So I just drained and added in the brown rice. What I did is I used one of those two pound, 32 ounce bags of dry brown rice, one of the Walmart brands, and then that cooks up to be about eight cups of cooked rice. So it's all in now, and now of course Amelia won't be mixing this. Mommy's gonna do this mixing job. But then, Amelia, you can help me put the cheese on it once we get it in our casserole dishes, okay? So here's what it looks like all mixed up. You see it's very cheesy right now, and now we're gonna put it in our casserole dishes. So I took all my mixture from my big Rubbermaid container and I filled all three of my glass baking dishes. And then instead of using cheddar, what I have on hand is I have some Fiesta Blend cheese that was left over for some something else I was doing a few days ago. So I'm just gonna use that. And you could probably say it would be about a cup on top of each casserole. I'm doing a handful on top. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven at 350 for about 30 minutes. And it'll be nice and cheesy for dinner. And then I'll have a little bit of cheese left if we put another little handful. Actually, I think this larger pan needs a little more. Again, using my eyeball and skills here. And it's got some nice big chunks of chicken in it. So there you go. Now we're gonna put them all in the oven. So we got all three dishes in there. I'm just gonna shut my oven and hit start. 
Let's see, we're already started. I'm gonna set my timer, that's what I'm gonna do. Hey, Chloe's back from her walk. I'll get a picture of her. It's been raining, her and Jaden have been running in the rain probably. Hey girlfriend, did you have a good walk, Miss Chloe? Okay. So this is it guys. I pulled this out of the oven and you can see how beautiful the top is. We're just gonna scoop it out on the table onto plates and it's gonna be super. And so for dinner, it's nice because it's just one of these one dish meals. You can give everybody a nice scoop. There we go, voila, and we have extra for seconds or thirds. Also, I forgot to do this earlier, so I'll just add in. You can also add in a cup of sour cream into this recipe or, Greek, or plain Greek yogurt, and that's very tasty too. So if you would like the full recipe of my attempt to write out for you exactly how I made this, just click in the link in the description below. Also, subscribers to the Encouraging Homeschool Mom newsletter get a fantastic, it's very pretty, pack of meal planners with uh, menu planners actually with weekly plans bi-weekly plans or monthly plans all laid out so until next time friends i'll see you next time with another brand new video bye bye